In the previous episode, we built an iron farm and a limestone farm. But in this episode, we built the simplest create mod food farm. Uh, before we jump into this video, uh, it's been three episodes now. And I keep forgetting to mention that we have a name for our copper golem. Steve the Gold one suggested we should name it Brian. And I named this thing th three episodes ago so yeah also these two wonderful people as well suggested in my last episode i should change the millstones to crushing wheels so more stone can get crushed and to add this so it can crush the nuggets into iron ingots so i don't have to do that myself so thank you to you, your suggestions uh because i'm still learning and yes does make life a bit easier as i don't have to craft it into ingots anymore but i have been streaming over on youtube and i've actually collected all the resources for my food farm exterior so maybe we should start off with a little bit of a time lapse maybe so let's jump right in now we have built our food i guess farm almost uh i put the cabbages i put the onions here it will be rice but unfortunately i do not have that much rice but some carrot a wheat field growing over here i gotta put torches on these fences and i made this cute little bird bath the only issue however is you can't actually move this grass here um, but I have an idea for that anyways. And then in here is a special shed, I guess we could say. Um, yeah, we'll just leave that as it is. But once again, I am stepping out of my comfort zone and did a different style for the roof. And I'm starting to stray away from the Azurin, as you can see. And I quite like it more. It's a bit more it's a bit more bright um and then on the inside i've basically given this a stand stone trimming i've added some birch just to you know break it up a bit and then i'll have a back door i think about here oh no here i'll have a back door because the food farm will be at the back here and yes it doesn't look like a lot of room but it's going to be underground oh yeah i also like these windows they can open i've also got some fairy lights just to make it more cozy and i had to go on a bit of adventure to find some more crops and this is what i got so i got plenty of tomato seeds i've got plenty of i thought i had plenty of onions i've got plenty of cabbage wheat seeds and I've got two rice, which I need to start growing, actually. In order to grow rice, you need to plant the rice in water. And I think you can just plant it in here like so. So this will grow and I can harvest it and it'll make more. So hopefully that gets done soon. If you want to see this place get decorated, make sure to tune in on my streams that I uh, do on YouTube. I don't really have a schedule. They just sprout out, out of nowhere, but... I'll try to make one soon. Now, question is, do we have the food farm? Because I would do a little overhang with stairs going down, and then at the bottom will be a food farm. But the question is, should we make the stairs go down? Or should we just have a little trap door on the inside here? I think I'm going to do stair idea. So let's start digging this out like so. 
Don't worry guys, I'll make this prettier. Oh, I love the OptiMine mod. I will be right back once I have mined up all this area. During that process, I had an absolute midlife crisis and I called up one of my friends, Sandy. I asked for her opinion on what I should do and she basically said this. Why hide it underground when you can have it shown off to everybody and help fill out your area? And then I said, what a good idea, Sandy. I'm gonna do it. And we talked for a few more hours after that. But as you can see behind me, I have got a layout already planned. Um, so this is going to be a greenhouse where there's going to be cabbage, wheat, and tomatoes. And it's going to be put in a row like this. Because fun fact, if you didn't know, if you separate uh, crops when growing them, they grow faster. Which I didn't learn until Sandy told me that as well. So, and then here, I'm going to have rice and onions and potatoes and carrots. And then I'm going to have a pathway come along here, up here and around. And it should look really nice from down here. Having that line of sight with the greenhouse right there. But since I'm lazy, I got the build wand. And I'm going to do this oh this is fun uh so we're going to change it to row and column and then yeah then i can build it up like so and i just built this entire wall in two seconds oh this mod's amazing I should start playing vanilla again so I can humble myself because the luxury of modded is insane. Like, I played Guess the Build the other day and it sucked. It was fun, it just sucked because I wasn't able to, you know, have this luxury stuff. There we go. I think I also have glass here. I already built this, I just got to remember how I built it. And then I think I did this. Okay, so let's get our trusty wand back out. And I think we can do... This. Oh, that's very handy. That's the only thing that sucks about this mod. But then you have Ultimine to fix it in 2.9 seconds. Voila! There we go. And then I'm going to go for a bit of a rounded roof. So in order to do that, we're going to do something like this, 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 this. So it's a little bit round. I hate when they're full. Then we're going to go this, this 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 and this then it would meet in the middle like this and then you get a slab and voila nice round roof let's do the same over here so we're gonna go this 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 then this 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 and this Bada bing, bada boom. And then we want to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, okay, yeah. So like so. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There. And then we can go bada bing, there. And then in the middle, we're going to have glass. We have to do it on the other side. Oh, shoot. I made a mistake already. That bottom part is supposed to be birch. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Now, let's quickly have a look at what this looks like from down below. Oh. 
I don't know why it looks sh shorter. Yeah, this is supposed to be two blocks higher. Okay, now that I've raised everything by two, we're going to use these framed blocks, well, framed slabs, to cover this like so. We quickly just grab out the normal green glass as the other glass look ugly. And we'll do this. And this is very uh, helpful when designing builds. Because you can't get slabbed glass, can you? So this is very nice to be able to use any blocks to make it slabbed. Now we just got to do this little roof here. Which I forget how what I did. I know this goes up another one because I had a little slab here. I simply just think this entire thing is just made out of slabs. And then I think I got some wart wood. I made this like five minutes ago and I still don't remember. And let's see if we have any. We do have warped wood. Thank goodness because I did not want to go into the nether. Okay, we can do this like so. And then we got to use the slab again. And that looks hideous. So what we're going to do is grab a special... We're going to get this framed screwdriver that I have in my hand and it can change the direction of any block which is super handy so like this and like this wada bing bada boom be nice if I didn't drop my axe and there we go that's all done we will break this middle part here and then we can do something like so there now let's see how it looks from down here. Hopefully it looks better. Yeah, there we go. Now just imagine like vines and leaves and all that. I'm planning to make all that up there overgrown. Ah, uh, yes. Well, since that massively failed and blew up in my face, um, we're just going to turn this greenhouse into a proper greenhouse. But before we do that, we're going to focus on these circle things, which now I'm going to be relying on to get my source of food. And don't worry, guys, I will be making a bigger one than this in the farming district in future episodes. But this, again, is only to get me through the first few episodes. Um, so I have built one of these circular ones before. Quite easy, quite simple. Um, but first, what we do need is some water wheels. We only need two water wheels. Um, so in order to make water wheels, I'm pretty sure it's a shaft surrounded by wood. It is. So we only need to go down by this much. I forget how big this water wheel is. So I'm just going to make it one size for now. Like this size and see if it's big enough. Yeah, perfect. And in order to make sure it goes one way. Then we build up with this. And then we place a mechanical bearing down like so. Here we got our harvesters down. We glue it like so. Then we can dig out this area here and fill it with water like so. Let's grab another water real quick. There we go. And then we can grow the rice here. I did it. I did it. That should do a kissy thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we almost had enough. So sad. So sad. Then we can do cabbage here. Okay, that should be good. Then we just got to repeat this on this side.
Okay, these are done. But I think what I want to do is maybe surround them with green concrete. Uh, actually, no, that would look stupid. Um, Maybe even just the green glass would probably look nice. All right, I don't think that looks half bad, actually. What we could do is actually bring back in some of the birch as this retaining wall here. Yeah, I think I like that. So now we've got two create farms up in here, running away, working. Now, leave comments down below uh, what we you think we should put in there because I tried to add a farm and it simply just didn't work. Um, so yeah, I don't know what to put in here. So if you have any ideas, please comment that below. That will be very helpful. But I guess we should get this into this. Uh, I lied again. I'm, I'm very, very, very sorry. Uh, but we're going to rebuild the big farm inside of here. So your suggestions no longer count. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so very sorry. I keep lying in this episode. Crazy, right? Um, but I figured out why it wasn't working properly. So since I figured that out, let's rebuild it. Because better food production means more food for me. And I won't have to worry about starving. So first, what we're going to do is... Yeah, I've already... As you can see, this is from the past. I've already built the rail here. So all we need to do... Is place this down. No, 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 no. We want to flip this around. So we want to place it, the minecart down. And then what we were going to do is grab some logs. Grab some logs like so. The voila. And then we can hook these harvesters here. And then we can grab this and grab this. So we can add the chest here. And we can add the, whatever is it called? Portable storage face here. I'm going to quickly do this because I always forget. Lock rotation. I always forget and it always ends up in disaster. Just showing half of this greenhouse. Um, and then I'm going to glue this. 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 And this. So that should be good. But then down here. We're going to add another portable storage face. A chute here. And yes, I know this is slightly weird. But the chest is going to end up coming down here. Which we can still access here. And if you want to, uh, I'll be streaming Wednesday night. Uh, Australian Eastern Standard Time about 10pm on Wednesday. Um, and we're going to build a pathway through here, give spruce in this area up a little bit, and we're going to connect these into here, and also decorating the inside of that. Because unfortunately I do not have the time to put it in this video. Uh, I think it should still connect with a glass block there, if not I'll just remove it. But if I'm correct, I'm all good to send this on its way. Everything seems to be fine. I'm having to do some crazy parkour guns. Only issue is this farm is no longer stoppable. It must always be running. And I'm scared because it's night time. I'm going to sleep. Choo, choo, choo. Also, for those who are wondering where Brian is, I've chucked him in the shed and he's rusted right there. RIP Brian. But what we are... Oh, we need to grab some buckets of water, we do. So we're going to do a pro move right here, guys. We're going to smack this in the middle. Then parkour over and smack this in the middle. And then we're going to harvest this all at once. Oh, oh. Guys, much more. Then my hoe broke. Oh, this is ending here very horribly. Wait, since it only comes here, we don't need to really do this part. So let's quickly fill this part in. Okay, I think that should be all. So first, we're going to add some cabbages here. Then some wheat. Then carrots. Onion. Then we're going to repeat. Okay, it's all done. Oh my lord. So now, we have one, two, three productions of food. 
we're never going to starve. I'm going to make ourselves a bit of an egg farm. Once again, I'll be streaming that over on this channel about 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Australian Time, Wednesday. And let's see how these foods are going. Okay, we've done quite well. And we've also done quite well in here so far. And it's been running for about 20 or so minutes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm unfortunately going to have to wrap it up here today. But I have done quite a bit by building this little lovely area. Then up there with the food farms. Uh, fixing up the iron farm. So yeah, quite busy episode. I'm also very sorry for not posting for a month. Got a bit busy with real life. But I should be back for a few weeks and after, hopefully. Got some videos, special videos coming out. So be aware and make sure to look out for that. And I'm also sorry if this video is a little bit janky. Uh, I was in a bit of a rush and again, technical difficulties with that thing up there. But once again, I'm out of time for today. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.